All right, guys, deadlift day. That's what this video is going to be. You like my haircut? Pretty cool, right? Uh, rocking the level up gym wear clothing, which I'll have the link in the description if you guys like this design when you're seeing it. You know, it's a very Gymshark-esque type of fit. Um, now, again, I'm not affiliated with any of these shirt companies that I should always show you guys in the videos. I'm sure I could get like a discount code if you liked any of the shirts, but I'm not affiliated with any of them. You know, they send me the shirts, I rock them, and then uh, if you guys like them, you know, I can try to hook you guys up. Anyway, a lot of people always try to say that I, I get so excited and I get so excited, get double excited. We double excited. Um, you know, for my deadlifts, and, and, and I think it's important to get psyched up. I think it's important to, um, you know, have that drive, have that motivation, and, you know, put all your mind into your lifts. But for this session, I think I might try out conventionals again, unless I didn't put that video up. Um, and I try, I'm going to try not to get as psyched up for it. <laughs> Mentally, I'll get psyched up, but I'm not, like, physically going to do all the crazy stuff. So maybe, I don't know, either you're going to see me get psyched up, and this whole intro is a lie, or, you know, you're going to see a less... You know, a calmer max on the deadlifts and just show you uh, that, uh, you know, you don't necessarily need it, but um, sometimes it might help. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you in the commentary. Max, chill. Max, calm down. Stop jumping around. That is what everybody always says when they see me hopping around. Now the first thing you're going to notice in this video that it is going to be 98% conventional lifts. And the only reason that I'm doing conventional lifts, just because I wanted to kind of, you know, I enjoyed doing them last time, but after doing these conventionals so much, it wrecks your back so much if you go from uh, conventional to sumo, and then like you do sumo forever, then go back to conventional, it just kicks your ass. Uh, I'm really focused on keeping my hips up. You'll notice they don't really shoot up that much because I'm focused on raising my hips before I lift the damn bar. So the whole topic of this video is just, uh, you know, being calm and being in a, in, a, in a calm mindset. And honestly, I do not agree with it. You know, you see people like, you know, Richard Hawthorne or Brandon Campbell or even Candido, and they, they don't really get, like, hyped up, you know? They, they, they go up to the bar and they bend down and they pick the thing up. And that is just not my life. I try doing these conventional pulls. Now, again, conventional is not my go-to pull, obviously. I am a sumo guy. I don't necessarily hate conventional, but it's just not my thing anymore. Um, but the hype up, guys, is very important for me. The hype up is necessary for me to pull these heavy weights because the deadlift is not something that I can just go in and just be like, la-di-da-da-da, I'm going to pick up the weight today. <laughs> no, it's... I gotta go in there, I gotta get like angry at the weight, I gotta get excited, you know, to pull the weight, I just gotta be in the mood. As you see here, pulling 500 pounds on conventional, I actually pulled this about two or three times, but you're not gonna see the other pulls, you might be like, well Max, did you film them? Yes, I did film them, didn't include them for a reason, you'll find out probably way later, way down, way, way down the road you'll find out why I didn't include the clips. Not because I, you know, failed or anything, I successfully did them. Anywho, I'm getting... You know, I digress. So what I did is I attempted to go up to like 515 on conventional, and it just, and it, it did not happen, as you will see right now. Let's go ahead and watch this together here. I get about, <laughs> ah, oh, nope. So then I pull, you know, I go and pull a sumo, and again, I'm not really super psyched up. You do see the foot tapping a little bit, but, uh. You know, I managed to pull it, but it's just, it's very, very slow. The rest of the exercises are just going to be some accessory movements. This footage, not going to lie, is a, a little, a little old, because I wanted to get this footage out to you before I get the new up-to-date footage. So you're going to see, I might upload an extra video this week, just because this is a little bit older footage. So that's going to be the whole topic of this video, is, you know, well, you know, in, in my eyes, I have to get psyched up. Can you guys go in there and just... For, uh, we're going to talk specifically about deadlifts, okay? Because I think each lift is different. I don't necessarily have to get all psyched up for bench press or sh sh military press. But for deadlifts, do you guys have to be in a specific zone? Or could, you know, could anything be going on in your brain and you could just go in there and pull the weight? I don't think deadlifts are like that. Now, I, you know, I would like Brandon Campbell to respond to this video <laughs> and or reply and, and just tell me his secret, how he's so calm. I'm sure he can think of some really witty thing. You know, candy to everything. They're just so calm, and I can't do that. And I don't understand how people do that. So, 
does everyone get really excited, get amped up for deadlifts, or can they just go in and am I just an outlier in this whole deadlift world? If you guys like this Level Up t-shirt, by the way, I'm not affiliated with them, but they did give me a 10% discount code, which I'll include in the, in the box for this video. Level Up Gym Wear, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.